Hello everyone, I hope you are well. Today's video is going to be very much interesting because we are going to use Bing AI plus Marmate with Draw.io to draw system diagrams like we did in our previous video of using ChatGPT to build system diagrams. But this time we are going to use Bing AI to draw the diagrams. But before starting, you do watch my previous video in which I talked about some useful tips and tricks about Bard AI. If you are new here, I am Hassan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, Videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment down this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. So here is our Bing AI. What you have to do is open Marmate. You can see that we used previously this tool to generate flow charts, sequence diagrams, scan chart, etc. But today we are going to do something different, which is about draw.io. What you have to type is draw.io. You have to go to this website. They provide multiple options for saving your diagrams. So for now, I'm going to just use my device to save the diagrams. What you have to do is to create new diagram and then blank diagram and create. It will ask you to type the name of the file. So I'm going to just type it sample and save it on desktop. You can find many different options here. You can see that .png, .svg if you want to edit your file in a vector image and HTML file, also the XML file. So for now, we are just going for XML file. I'm going to just save it. After all this, you will see this screen of draw.io. You will see many different tools and shapes of the system diagrams for drawing flow charts and sequence diagram, etc. Now, what we have to do is to just ask for a simple use case from Bing AI. What you have to type, give me simple use case example. It should be well defined. Press enter and let's see what it gives us. So it is asking for, can you please clarify what you would like an example of? So I'm going to this for a hospital management system hospital management system and then let's see what it gives us so here is the result i am going to ask bing ai to explain it more and it should be well defined you can see that it is not like a use case but it is just like a some summary but we have to ask again and it it should definitely give us the result let's see what it gives us right now i'm going to ask again so it should be like that the use case should be structured and well defined please give the use case again let's see what it gives us now here is the result and it gives us the link for the use case you can see right here this is the use case but what i'm going to type is right here i'm going to ask it to explain it right here so explain it right here and press enter so now here is the result that we were looking for it defined the use case in a well structured manner so now what we are going to do is to ask it to generate the marmate code for the flowchart of this use case so you have to type give marmate code for flowchart for the above use case press enter and let's see so here is the result you have to just click on this button to copy this code and what you have to do is to go to the marmate you can see that github.marmate marmate.js marmate.js is the repository and the marmate is a tool then you have to go for the live editor of flowchart open it in new tab and paste it right here you can see that this is the simple flowchart what it gives us is png svg and it just gives us two options png and svg and it is actually not editable but today we have something different what we have to do is to just go back to bing ai copy the code and then open that tab that you opened before which was about draw.io what you have to do is to click on this button you can see that plus symbol then you have to go to advanced and then click on marmate you have to just paste it right here the code you copied from the bing ai and insert it now you can see the result here is our flow chart the good thing about this tool is that you can edit this flowchart by just copying the marmate code and then paste it into the draw.io and you can easily edit this code without any making any changes to the response of the Bing AI. So in this way, you don't have to ask it again or you have you don't have to change any prompt. You can just simply change it right here what you want to change. Now let's move forward towards the next diagram. Let's try to create sequence diagram. So I'm going to ask Bing AI to give Marmate code for the sequence diagram for the above use case. So you have to type give me Marmate code for the sequence diagram for the above use case. Press enter and let's see what it gives us. So guys here is the result. We are going to do the same again. You have to copy this code and then you have to just paste it right here. Just click on that symbol, go to advance and then marmate. We have to remove this code first and then paste right here. Insert it and you will see the result. You can see that it generated the sequence diagram. The above is the flowchart. You can just remove it by selecting all of the shapes and click on delete button. Now you can see that clearly it is the sequence diagram. Now let's try to copy this code that we just copied into draw.io into the marmate so that we can see the difference. 
between the two. So Marmite showed this like this and, and Draw.io also shows the same. But what is exciting about Draw.io that you can edit this diagram but Marmite cannot do this. Yes, you can do this in this code but it is very much difficult if you don't know about the coding of the Marmite life editor but draw.io gives you the simple tool so that you can just easily edit this let's move forward towards the next diagram what if we can create next is the class diagram let's ask Bing AI to just generate the marmite code for the class diagram you have to ask give me marmite code for the class diagram for the above use case press enter and let's see so guys here is the result the class diagram code is right here you have to just copy it and then you have to do the same make sure you just remove it right from here and then just paste the code we have to do the same go to marmate paste the code and insert it so right here you can see that it is generating some error we can ask bing ai to solve this error what you have to do is just copy it and ask it again it is generating the below error and then paste that error that we just copied press enter let's see what it gives us so it is asking about that can you please share the marmate code that you are trying to run so we can just simply copy this code that it gives already to us press enter let's see so guys here is the result again and let's see if the errors goes or not so you have to do the same and i'm going to just paste it click on insert button let's see so it again generated the result what we can do next is to just ask it again to generate the marmite code for the sequence diagram because we saw that it is not solving this error so just copy this prompt for the class diagram so paste it right here again so we saw that the code generated by Bing AI was generating an error but we can show a sample use case so that we can understand where is the error. So here is the code of the Bing AI and I'm going to copy it again and let's see what it gives us. You have to just paste it. Now you can see that I'm going to click on insert and it says that parse error on line 31 and it says that expecting line dotted line and if you carefully see the result of the bing ai you can see that they are not dotted lines so we have to just edit this code by just seeing the sample use case right now i'm going to just do the same and then edit the code you have to make it that dashed or dotted lines in each line or statement let's see what it gives us now so you can see that here is the result now and it is perfectly generated now and it is the results are perfect now so if you got this error like this you can just go to the mermaid editor and then click on the sample diagrams and you will see the names of the diagram just click on that for example if you want to check the sample code for the flowchart then click on it and it will give you the sample sample code for flowchart now let's move forward towards the next diagram we are going to ask bing ai to generate the state diagram now i'm going to ask again give me marmaid code for state diagram for the below use case i'm going to copy that use case again that being ai generated before it is right here and then paste it just right here press enter and let's see so guys here is the result the code generated of the state diagram is right here i'm going to copy it and we are going to do the same remove the previous work and then paste that again click on the symbol go to mermaid and paste it let's see what it gives us so here is a state diagram that bing ai generated so you can see the result of the bing ai and we can just combine these tools to get the perfect results you can ask many other diagrams of the mermaid which are available in the mermaid life editor or the github repository so we asked the flowchart sequence diagram but we didn't ask for the GAN chart but you can try it by yourself we tried class diagram we tried the state diagram you can try the pie chart by yourself or if you want to go for the bar chart you can just ask bing ai to generate a code for mermaid and then paste in draw.io so this was all about today's video i hope this video will help you in the university projects or it can be very helpful for a business analyst so if you like the video click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when i publish the video thank you guys for watching